Hi, my name is Julia and I'm a homeschool mom of two. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at just three out of the hundreds of math lessons available for Time for Learning students in grades kindergarten to second. Let's get started with this fun lesson from kindergarten math. In Harriet's Piggy Bank, students will learn to identify a penny, nickel, dime, and quarter and the value of these coins. Welcome to What Is It Worth? Here are the four coins, a penny, a nickel, a dime. The instructions are clear and easy to understand, and I don't have to worry that it's going too fast for my child or that he will miss something. It is important to know how much each coin is worth so that you can count the value or amount of your money. This is a cent sign. Let's move forward. Click on the coin that is worth five cents to help the kindergarten cafe put coins in the cash register. My son and I both appreciate how Time for Learning makes sure that there is an understanding of the wrong answer in an encouraging manner. Let's look at the correct answer together. A nickel is worth five cents. Moving forward to the next lesson in our math video. Hi, how you doing? I'm Jeannie. Today, we're going to learn how to solve comparison word problems. Have you ever looked at two things and wondered which is more or which is less? Noah and Ava have fish tanks. They each have a different number of fish. We're going to see who has more fish. Here's what we are going to learn about today. You will learn how to solve a word problem comparing two things using addition or subtraction. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. Click the button to move on. Time for Learning lessons use a variety of styles to keep things fresh and diverse, and I really appreciate how many lessons include text, images, animation, and real human instruction. Hi again. Let's talk about what you know. You know how to add by putting together two groups of objects. Like this. Start with two fish and add four fish. Two fish plus four fish are six fish. And you know how to subtract by taking away from a group. Here are three fish. Three fish minus two fish is one fish. Now let's talk about what you need to know. Noah and Ava each have pet fish. Noah has four fewer fish than Ava. Noah has two fish. How many fish does Ava have? Let's think about this problem. We know that Noah has two fish. This is four fewer fish than Ava has. So. Who has more fish, Noah or Ava? Now we're making our way to the final lesson, where second graders will learn to tell time to the hour and half hour on analog and digital clocks. Welcome to another game of Power to the Hour. Today we have a new contestant going up against our audience. Welcome, Sam. Like most of the lessons, this one begins with a short introduction to the topic. Hi there. I'm a little nervous today, Mish. Relax. We will have a great time Telling time. That's my problem. I'm not sure how to tell time. Not a problem. Our first round will help you. First, let's review the parts of a clock. The clock has a minute hand and an hour hand. It shows the hours listed from 1 to 12. Many lessons will also feature a quiz related to the material that your student may or may not complete according to your teaching style. What kind of a clock is that? It's called an analog clock. This clock shows the hour and the minutes separated by two dots called a colon. It's a digital clock. First, let's look at the time to tell the hour. I'm ready. If the minute hand is pointing to the 12 on this clock, we can tell time to the hour. The 12 means o'clock. If you use this clock to tell the time to the hour, the last set of numbers must show double zeros, like this. This means o'clock. Round one, Sam. Click on the clocks that show the time to the hour.
To ensure students are retaining what they're learning, there are questions spread throughout the activity. This concludes the kindergarten to second grade math demonstration. Please choose another subject, or if you'd like to learn more about how Time for Learning works, take a look at the tour video. Goodbye.